Hello everybody. Um, so I'm talking my way through uh, what it's like to live with colour sensitivity. And uh, we've actually bought ourselves a small spectrometer. So we can see every day roughly uh, what the light waves are doing. Um, so very interestingly today, uh, I looked at spectrometer picture and whereas um, often it's sort of, you know, very up and down, quite funny doing that to a screen, <laughs> and there's lots of sort of peaks and dips, this morning it just sort of went up and across and down. Okay, now that I'm sure that's very foreign to most of you really, why, what on earth am I talking about? So it's really showing the relative frequencies, uh, the amounts. So obviously if there's a big peak in violet, then it means there's more violet light. If there's a big sort of dip in green, then it means there's less green light. And so to see the spectrometer where it was going across the top, almost flat, and down, it meant that the spectrum was a particular way. To say it's balanced would be putting a sort of judgment on it, because I can't say when it's really balanced. But to me, it was probably more balanced than at most times. And that's really because uh, I seem to have uh, an underactive red cone, or I don't process red. I don't know which it is, but I don't see enough red in colour most of the time. So when the red is high, then I stand the best chance of being able to see a balanced spectrum because obviously I'm generally seeing less red. So that's enough of the sciencey bit anyway because it's very, very complicated. But I'm more into the experience of it, really. And so when I looked out of the window, I felt like it's cloudy, actually, to start with. It was cloudy, and it had this very, very clear balanced spectrum. And it just felt soft, actually, especially after the last couple of days of the light seeming very harsh and there being a lot of violet and a lot of ultraviolet around in an unbalanced way. So a, a sort of peak of violet and ultraviolet and then lower other frequencies. So, um, so it sort of had this softness and it made me feel that... Uh, I, you know, I could, I could go out on a day like today because I don't always want to go out. That's the thing. Um, now, interestingly, or rather fortuitously, fortuitously, I can't get my words out today. Um, my son needed a haircut. He had a haircut booked and uh, we needed to go out and it, it gave me a good opportunity to sort of see how I felt out. And I actually, I really felt good. And when we got to the, the haircut, my husband went in with him and I went for a walk, which is quite unusual really for me. I mean, I do get out. <laughs> I don't really feel I don't get out at all. <laughs> but, um, but there's lots of days when I don't really feel like going out and uh, yeah, we go to the park or we do sort of small things in small bursts of time. But to actually feel like going for a walk, honestly, I don't have that very often. I have done a lot of walking in my time, I have done a lot of cycling in my time, but I didn't know about my colour sensitivity then. And I would just go out and I would, often I'd go into the fields, if we walked in the fields, and I would feel like there was something wrong. I just didn't know what it was. I thought I was in a funny mood. I thought people weren't giving me enough attention. I, 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 I thought I was just too hot or too cold. and. I, I didn't know what it was that was pulling me down. So, you know, today I was walking around a town, a little, well, a very small town, and um, I got to a park and I thought, oh, that'd be nice. I'd go sit on a bench and have, have my sandwich. And I started to walk through the park and immediately I started to feel not good, a sort of digestion kind of feeling of not good, a feeling of sort of heaviness in my legs of not good. 
And I thought, no, it's, I definitely don't, I still don't see enough red in order to make the green of the grass look really balanced to me. So I went back onto the roads and I was much happier on the roads because they're sort of gray kind of tarmac. And it, because they're pale, it doesn't matter quite so much if the red is missing. So in some colors, I don't notice so much. And in some colors, it's really, really glaringly obvious. Uh, so, so today, uh, the start of today anyway, because it's changed now, um, was sort of as good as it gets um, in general. Um, I think I have been doing a lot of investigations over the last couple of years, and I have got some Erlen glasses that are tints of different colours. And um, so when I started investigating and looking at light and colour sort of two years ago, I would sit and look out the window, I'd put my glasses on, I'd take my glasses off, and I'd try to work out what was going on. And what I, just very, very occasionally, I suddenly see the spectrum is balanced. And like everything I look at appears to be right. The red is the right bright, the blue is pleasant, the green is right. And it's quite amazing really when that happens. Um, but realistically for me, it happens two or three times a year. And quite often when the light's a little bit dimmer as well. So um, that's when the more red light in the atmosphere in the evening. So I might have a little bit of a help from that red light in, in the evening. Um, it might have been totally balanced this morning if I got up earlier. <laughs> but, uh, so, um, so yeah, I don't see it balanced most of the time. Um, which makes for a very interesting life. <laughs> and the more I understand of it, the more, the more intrigued I am about it. I can't imagine what it's like to see the spectrum balanced. Having said that, I probably don't see too different from you. Certainly I pass all the colourblind tests with flying colours. So I, I think it's, it's, it's incremental. I, th I think it's, um, it's not a massive, massive difference because I do see a very vivid, colourful, exciting world. Um, but not seeing red all the time to its correct proportions, you know, is a problem. Um, apart from making the colours go funny, it makes me feel less grounded and uh, perhaps less secure sometimes when I don't see red. Um, and so I've had to find my way to find my sense of security um, and my own sense of being rooted in myself, even though I don't feel grounded, even though I don't feel super secure, I, I sort of have to trust that I'm safe. That is, that is really how I've managed it. So there's lots I could say about uh, this, th this issue, but I think that's probably enough for now. And I uh, will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.